Game of Thrones uh, has one spinoff slash prequel series out, House of the Dragon, and it's absolutely fantastic. Well, now we've got another one coming. We've heard about it, but they just made their first major moves. As Deadline is reporting, the Game of Thrones spinoff, A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, has now cast their two leads in Peter Claffy and Dexter Saul Ansel. I hope I'm saying their names right. In the lead roles. Here's a good look at the two leads for the new film. And it describes this. A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, The Hedge Knight, HBO's Game of Thrones spinoff, has cast its two leads. The series has cast Peter Caffley and Dexter Soul Ansel in the lead roles of Dunk and Egg, which kind of sounds like a couple of characters that Kevin wrote for, uh, for Star Wars. Um, then it goes on to say this. Set a century before the events of Game of Thrones, so before Game of Thrones, after House of the Dragon, it follows two unlikely heroes who wandered Westeros, a young, naive, but courageous knight, Sir Duncan the Tall, and his diminutive squire, Egg, set in an age when the Targaryen line still holds the Iron Throne and the memory of the last dragon has not yet passed from living memory. Great destinies, powerful foes, and dangerous exploits all await these improbable and incomparable friends. All right. I'm going to tell you what I really like about the sounds of this. First of all, I'm more excited about it because House of the Dragon has worked so well. So clearly they can spin off Game of Thrones and do a good job. But here's what I really like about this and why, why I'm looking forward to, to this is that description. When you look at both Game of Thrones, the main series, and House of the Dragon, everything is about the Iron Throne. Everything is about control of Westeros. Everything is about who's in power, right? It's grand, global scale storytelling. I love the idea of telling the story of the world of Westeros from the perspective of two people who are not vying for the throne, of just two people who inhabit and live in that world. And I think there's something very interesting. Now that we've had two shows that are on the grander scale, it'd be really cool to see a story told from that perspective. So I got to say, Rob, I'm not going to say I'm jumping up and down with excitement, but it's really got my interest. What do you think about the sounds of this? I think it's fantastic. I mean, a story about a knight and a squire, you know, like you said, it's it's a totally different vibe. It's a totally different thing. And I think one of, one of the really interesting things is I think they're doing with the Game of Thrones, call it a franchise, call it an IP now, they're doing what they should be doing, where you're taking this world and there's 100 million stories you can tell within the world and you don't always have to deal with the machinations at the top of that world. And what is it What is it like to be an errant knight? You know, maybe a knight without a, a house or something. We don't know. Uh, I mean, some somebody does because I'm sure it's been described, but I don't know what this story is. And it, 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 to me, it's immediately appealing, this kind of a story. I mean, I've been reading stories about knights and their squires my whole life. <laughs> so bring this on. Um, well, there you go. I mean, I, I'm totally interested in this. Uh, it, it, I love it. I love it becomes a personal story of two friends. Uh, uh, I, I, it sounds great. And I guess the tale itself is written by George R. R. Martin. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. It's all, so, it, it takes place, uh, 72 years after house of the dragon. Okay. Um, so right there, pretty much smack in the middle, but a hundred years series. before game of Thrones. Yeah. So I, it looked like there's a, a graphic novel of it. Is that? Uh, well, they're novels and then, yeah. I thought, like I thought story. I saw one of those images said it was they had it in a in a graphic novel. Yeah, yeah they too. converted them. If to they graphic. do, I might have to go grab that yeah. thing. Guys, we want to take a moment to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by overpriced wireless providers, if we've learned anything, is that there's always a catch. So when I heard that for a limited time, all Mint Mobile wireless plans are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan, I thought, what's the catch? But after talking to them, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile secret sauce is that they they sell wireless services online. They cut out the cost of retail stores and pass those sweet savings on to you. And guys, you know, ever since I switched over to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than one third on my wireless bills than I used to with one of the major carriers. So say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw dropping monthly bills and unexpected overages. All plans come with high speed data and unlimited talk and text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with your existing 
existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three month plan only. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes on unlimited plan. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions may apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Hey guys, question is for you. What do you think? I love the sounds of this. I think this could be really interesting. Maybe you're Game of Thrones out. Uh, whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.